Welcome to Catch at the Kona edition. We're here at the Sheraton Keho in Kona with uh, Chef Victor here at Raise on the Bay. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how we got here, which is kind of interesting in and of itself. And of course, the, the food that they serve here, which we're going to eat and I'm super excited about. So, are you ready? Absolutely. This is very casual. You don't have to feel... He's drinking a beer already, so... <laughs> okay, so how did you get into cooking? Well, it was... Uh... Grew up with six brothers and sisters. I started going to a vocational school, and they had all sorts of cool food there that I didn't get to eat at home. So I started my business. I thought you were gonna say to fend for yourself with six brothers and sisters. Well, that too. <laughs> I to bring home donuts and cookies and stuff that's from the school, and you know, got it. I really like like it. You are from originally from Boston, yes, but I grew up mostly in Alaska. Yeah, I left when I was 17 uh, as an army and as a cook. Yeah. I went up to Alaska and then stayed there 27 years. Why? <laughs> I mean, I hear it's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> no, Alaska is gorgeous. It has a lot of the same uh, symbolism that Hawaii has as far as the grassroots of the farmers and uh, reaching down to nature and the food and, and a lot of spiritual aspects are the same as it is also in Hawaii. What's the most interesting ingredient you cooked with in Alaska? Um, I've done muktuk and I did a I did a traditional nine course Hawaiian actually um, Alaskan uh, cuisine uh, mm -hmm. with muktuk, which is the whale, yeah, and Eskimo that? ice cream, which is Crisco and berries, and um, it was a uh, we had porcupine, we had caribou, Are you we had bison, me? and it was all done mm -hmm. traditional. What does porcupine taste like? A little bit like uh, more on the pork side. And, really? And a little bit of with the pine side of it too. Are we going to be seeing this on the raise on the bay menu coming up? No. Soon? no. <laughs> Legal in America? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. The um, because it um, it's subsistence style over there in the villages. A lot of people that grew up with that. Yeah. And then when they came into the you know for Alaska Native Convention in the city, we just did a, a lot of the same foods that they. Oh, that is so fascinating. Now I want to go to Alaska and eat porcupine. Why well, about porcupine? But the other stuff sounded interesting. So how did you get to Hawaii? On an airplane. Oh my. <laughs> Comedian. That's his other career. <laughs> uh, no, um, actually, um, I was I was in Alaska working at Anchorage Hilton. I was with the Hilton for seven years or so, and then um, prior to that, I was with a Sheraton. Um, my friend uh, is the vice president of food and beverage, so we're reflagging a hotel in Waikiki um, to making it from a Radisson to a Hilton. We have a brand new restaurant in Studs. I need somebody to come on over. Will you give me a two-year commitment? So I came over. I opened up the restaurant, Mac 24/7. It was, oh, on, yeah, a, it was okay. on a food channel, and we did very well. Two years went to four years, went to six years. <laughs> As it does when everybody moves to Hawaii. <laughs> and then I got a phone call saying, you know, we have a brand new restaurant being built, Raised in the Bay. I came over here and I saw this. Yeah. And um, here which I, am. I just found out, Raised on the Bay can mean two things, like the sun rays and then the manta rays. That'd be raised in the bay, actually. But anyway, so what is the concept here at Raised on the Bay? We try to keep the uh, a 40 mile concept because everything has grown, hatched, or raised within 40 miles of the Oh, that's awesome. Some of it's been a challenge because uh, we are on an island uh, right. and you have to have the flexibility to switch the menus and uh, availability is sometimes you don't know what you get. Yeah. Do you know what percent of the menu is locally sourced or on average? As much as we can. As much as we can. As much yeah. as we can. And we've also taken it not only from the restaurant, but also influenced that throughout the um, resort in different cool. menus. What is a must-try dish here? Like if somebody's coming for the first time to Keho, what should they try? What was swimming yesterday? That's how manta rays. No, I ate the Odo, the Ahi. I don't know what was... Anyway, yeah. the no, fresh any, fish. Any of the, the fresh fish, the vegetables, I mean, anything that was fresh out here. I mean, the water is 200 yards out over here, and I get my fresh fish. They literally caught last night. The guy puts them in a brine, and he brings them on over to me this morning. Wow. So the fish are less than 24 hours. Very cool. So very local focus here at the restaurant. More regional. I like to say that I, I, um, um, I cook locally, but I think globally. He also drinks locally because he's drinking Kona Brew. Yeah. <laughs> You're all the way through. Well, thanks yeah. for taking the time. I appreciate it. Um, you know, look for more stuff on Kona on thecatdish.com. Follow me at The Daily Dish. And of course, I'm on Instagram too at Catherine Talk. I need to rebrand, but anyway, I'll do it later. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And um, we're going to eat, so check out for more food picks later. Thank you. All right. Mount to raise. <laughs>